for us that's turning from no transgression, which is from sins, that he said that uh, the redeemer is going to come to us. As verse 21, as for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, right there. My spirit that is upon you and my words which I have put in thy mouth. His law. I just, did I not say that? Nothing about it. You don't hear nothing about no, no man dying. He said, your spirit and the law we're going to put upon us. That's it. Woo. Which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth. You see that? And they're going to part out of our mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, said the Lord from henceforth and forever. Now, this is what I wanted to share with y'all. I'm going to go to the beginning of the book. This is what I want y'all to understand. I'm going to tell you now. Go to 1 to 5 again, Genesis 1, 1 through 5. I want y'all to have an understanding of what I'm about to share with you. The creation. This is what I mean by the creator was saw everything from beginning to end. Verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. This is the title. Even the first verse is the title to the first chapter. First verse is the title to the first chapter. Verse 2, and the earth was without form and void. See, the earth was without form and it was void. That's everything that was going on in the earth out of all this time. And darkness was on the face of the deep. Darkness is wicked. That's all the stuff that's going on now. See, think about this. Let me just, remember we just got reading this, dark, uh, darkness should cover the earth and, and gross darkness to people. The father seen all that in his mind. He's already seen how gross darkness was upon the face of the earth and how it happened for the second time, remember? Remember the first time he got rid of um, the first world by drowning it. Darkness, wickedness. See, but the light has always been here, which is the law. People choose to go from the law, which is the light. Man, here we go. Mm. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness, wickedness, was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of, see, this is the Father, the spirit of God, which is the spirit, the, uh, the Holy Spirit, the anointing spirit, however you want to call it. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The waters is the people. The people was the waters that the Father, that the, that the Spirit of the Father moved across from beginning to the end of time. That's the Spirit of the Father. And I was talking to these brothers uh, uh, last week. No, yeah, it was last week. It wasn't this week. Last week I was talking to these brothers and... I'm trying to get him to understand that same breath you breathing over there where you at, and he way across town. We have like a little small debate, and I'm just trying to talk, give him to understand something. The same breath you breathing, bro, I'm breathing the same breath. That spirit that if the spirit is upon you, that same spirit is upon me as well. Y'all looking at the father or whatever as one being. The father is all over. People has a, they have a one track mind. They can't, they have, they can't phantom the, the abundance and the omnipotence of the father. They put the father in man's category, which is sad. And the spirit of Yah moved upon the face of the waters, the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. And God said, let there be law. I want y'all to understand that it says light. But the light is the law. Remember, I was just telling you about a few minutes ago. Let there be law. And I'm saying law because it actually is light. Let God said, let there be light. And there was law, which is light. This was done at the beginning. Now, this is the reason why his word can't fail. This is the reason why he said that the light, the word was here in the beginning. And it will be here always. His word shall not fail. His word is the law. That's why he can't go against the law. Because whatever the father utter, it's law. Verse 4, And God saw the law, which is the light, that it was good. And God divided the law, the light, from the wickedness, darkness. He divided the light from the darkness, which is the, uh, the law from the darkness, or wickedness. And God called the law day, the light day, 